So what's with the gloomy look? Left someone dear behind? Uh, yeah. You could say that. Been there. So, Nord Sunday, eh? better buckle up. We've got some nasty weather coming in. I heard. Sadly, caring about storms is a luxury people in my line of work are rarely afforded. Oh, and what kind of work is that? Special agent, violent crimes, Central Bureau. Well, shit. You there. This is a restricted crime scene. Vera England, Central Bureau. Oh, you're Agent England. Sorry for shouting at you. I'm Gabriel. Apology accepted. Now brief me, please. Certainly, ma'am. The victim is Carl Oscarson, age 33. Stabbed to death by an unknown assailant. He worked here as a carpenter and was found early this morning by a co-worker who's sitting over there by the window. Got it. Sorry about the state of the crime scene. We're not used to this sort of thing. Oh, don't worry about it, Constable. This looks, uh, quite typical. Don't hold back on my account, ma'am. I can handle criticism. Good to hear. Now, give me a second while I examine the body. Sure, I'll be here. So, is this where you use your X-ray vision? My what? Come on, you have to be aware of the rumors. How agents like you are supposed to be equipped with some kind of advanced cybernetics? Let's just say I'm good at what I do. We'll leave it at that. Oh, didn't mean to overstep my boundaries. Hush, hush. Got it. All right. We've got multiple knife-sized stab wounds to the chest. I don't see a murder weapon, so I take it none was found at the scene? That's right. All knives and sharp tools in the building have been accounted for, too. It looks like the victim was attacked directly from the front. I don't see any major defense wounds, so this was either a surprise attack, or the victim knew the perpetrator. What about any potential suspects, Constable? Did Carl have enemies? None as far as we know. He seemed to be well-liked among the guys here. But the man who found him might know more. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman, taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be right. Hey there. What's your name? I'm Alfred. Carl's friend. Well, we were friends. Now he's gone. Are you doing okay? Do you have somebody to talk to after this? I'll be okay. Please just ask your questions so I can go home. Why don't you tell me about what happened this morning? Okay. Well, I get up early from my morning smoke. I keep my smokes in my locker, so I came in here. I saw Carl lying in the corner. 
It was still kind of dark, so I thought he'd fallen and hurt himself. I ran over to him. That's when I noticed the blood, and I guess I was kind of in shock, so I tried to stop the bleeding, but then I felt how cold he was. I yelled for help. The guys came running, and then Josef, our foreman, sent someone to go get the police. Okay. When was the last time you saw Carl alive? Late last night, or around midnight. He stayed up with us playing cards, which is unusual. Unusual? How so? Well, it was rare for Carl to stick around in the evenings. He usually went out by himself. Oh. Do you know where he used to go? No idea. He didn't talk much about that. Maybe he went to the canteen to meet some friends. Anyway, Carl seemed a bit anxious last night. He seemed distracted. Got it. Thanks for the info. What's your opinion on the policeman over there? Gabriel is a good man. He's been a cop in Nordsun for quite a while. Can you tell me a little bit about Carl? Sure. I've known him since I started working here four years ago. We instantly hit it off. He had a great sense of humor. He used to be so cheerful, you know? Always kidding around, always with a smile on his face. But then about a year ago, something happened. He became absent-minded and humorless. I know people can change, but this came seemingly from nowhere. Huh. What do you think caused the shift? No idea. Whatever it was, he wouldn't confide in me about it. That's enough questions for now. Okay. Gabriel. Yeah? What can you tell me about yourself? Not much to tell. I grew up here in Nordson, and all my family is here. The commissary is my uncle. He's always been the one who encouraged me to become a policeman. So, how long have you been a cop? Eight years now. Wow, eight? You must have started young. Yep, started as a trainee at age 16. Hmm, I see. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. My picture of Alex. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman. Taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. I already examined... Postmortem, huh? That would suggest that he likely only touched the body after death. Are you sure? Yes, I told you. Old girlfriend from before. You're lying to my face. If this attitude of yours doesn't change, the gloves will come off. I'm a patient woman, but I will only accept your full cooperation. I'll do what I need to do to bring justice to a murder victim. I'm, I'm sorry. I gave him a promise. The lady in the photo, Carl is still seeing her. Well, was, I suppose. Why wouldn't you tell me that from the beginning? It was a secret. Carl said they would both get in trouble if anybody knew. Why would they get into trouble? An affair? I didn't ask, but yeah, it could be. All right. Tell me everything you know about this woman. Carl said she lived somewhere north of town, but that's all I know. Okay, I believe you. Not yet. I think there's more to find in them. A row of personal lockers for the workers here. 
a row of person a row of person Gabriel. Yeah? Hey, do you know which one of these lockers belongs to the victim? I don't know. Try asking that guy over... Okay, that's all I need. Very well. A few more questions. Hey, do you know which one of these lockers belongs to Carl? Uh, yeah, it's number two. Uh, second from the left. Okay, I'll check it out. Is there an extra key for it somewhere? I don't think so. As far as I know, Carl had the only one. That's enough questions for now. Okay. Locked. Doesn't look incredibly strong, though. I might be... Jeez, try not to wreck the place. No reason for alarm. I just needed to get this locker open. There was a piece of paper in one of the inner pockets. The note looks like it was written by a woman. It reads, Hi Doofus, you're registered now. Go try it out. Remember how you totally flipped the day I first came to Nordsund? Kisses. A pair of large boots with dirt under them. I could go and follow up on the Saffron lead now, but I should check out the dormitory first. Hey, I'm gonna go check out the dorm. Where's Carl's bed? Turn left and then go straight. I left the light on so it'd be easy for you to find. Gotcha, be right back. Both beds look recently used. Dirty laundry. Smells like machine oil. Huh. Odd place for a ventilation duct. I don't think extra strength helps there. I don't think extra strength helps there. Pens and paper. Nothing out of the ordinary. Clean clothes and sheets. Nothing interesting. prints around a panel on the air duct. screwed on tight. I'll need some way of getting it loose. Don't worry, Maya. You'll be put to rest soon. I know, I know. Sorry about the delay. I was needed urgently out of town. Oh, hello there. Me and this old gal have been expecting you. <laughs> Talkative, is she? Oh, no doubt. The dead have a lot to say, you know. 
sometimes more so than the living. Is that so? The living are fickle and prone to deceit. Once dead, we can't hide things anymore. Not from me, at least. I agree. These days, people must prove themselves trustworthy before I rely on them. Now that's an attitude I can get behind. Now, I'd like to ask some questions. Sure. Go right ahead. What are your conclusions about Maya's murder? Most obvious first. The cause of death is acute blood loss due to the multiple stab wounds to the chest and stomach, two of which were lethal. The murder weapon is a mid-sized blade, likely a knife of some kind. There are some defense wounds on her arms, so the victim likely tried to shield herself against her assailant. I couldn't recover any biological traces of the murderer. There's no blood on her that isn't hers, or any traces of skin under her nails. This makes me suspect that the killer likely wore protective clothing and gloves. The time of death was roughly 2,300 hours last Tuesday, five days ago today. Did you know Carl Oscarson? No. When I heard he was murdered, I didn't even recognize his name. I had to check my records to realize that I've treated him. To be fair, I've had many patients. But he must have been cursed with one of those awfully forgettable faces. All right. Anything out of the ordinary in his medical history? Sorry. Can't go into detail. Doctor-patient confidentiality, you know? Keep it vague, then. Well, OK. Let me put it this way. I doubt you'd learn much from his file. Noted. Thanks. Do you know where saffron is grown in Nordsund? Uh, I'm afraid not. We have plants all over, but botany is not my area of expertise. That's enough questions for now. Okie dokie. Oh, one last thing. I've been told that the second body is on its way here. If you come back later today, I should be able to tell you something about it. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Do you recognize this couple? The man is clearly the second victim, Carl. As for the woman, it's too hard to tell given the damage to the photo. What do you make of this? The handwriting looks feminine, but I'm not sure what to make of the contents. Ever use something like this? I haven't, no. 